Hey guys, we're back with another video and about a week ago, the brand new GTX 1060 was launched. This card outperformed its predecessor the GTX 960 and was pretty much on par with the GTX 980. Talking about the specs, it sports 1280 CUDA cores which was expected by 90% of people due to the resolution trolling by Nvidia. Super sad that the GTX 1080p doesn't have 3840 CUDA cores. It sports a 1500 MHz of blaze clock and 1700 MHz of boost clock, 6 GB of frame buffer, and a stock cooler. These ain't killer specs, but do kill the games at respectable frames even at 1440p. Coming in just about $249 for the custom PCB cards, this was the perfect goodie for budget gamers out there. But the main question was why did it not support SLI? I mean everyone would love slapping two of these in their rig and leave it there for at least a couple of years. But Nvidia removed this feature which seemed a hardcore deal breaker and made folks including me bend towards the RX 480. Just around 199 for the 4GB model and being very near to the GTX 1060, not as powerful though. But it supported Crossfire would change the game. I mean, we all saw two of these chunks could smoke 1440p and manageable at even 4K. So why did Nvidia kick their own butt and did this? Well, I would say there are two main reasons for this. First is the one I think and second is the one Nvidia think. Well, both are correct. What I think is Nvidia did this to save their GTX 1080 sales. How you might ask? Remember the GTX 1060 performs somewhat similar to the GTX 980? Well, we see the performance of two GTX 980s performing in case the GTX 1080 SLI, while the 90% of the cases where games were well skilled in SLI capabilities, the GTX 980s win. What does that mean? Well, two of the GTX 1060s would not only race up against the GTX 1080 but also outperform it since it has 6 gigs of frame buffer comparing to the 4GB of the GTX 980 and second would be the upcoming driver support. Now I know your brain wouldn't readily accept my words, so here are some benchmarks of the GTX 1060 to a GTX 980 and then two GTX 980s to a GTX 1080, which will be self-explanatory later. So why would this hurt NVIDIA? Well as we saw and as we know, the GTX 1060 goes for about $249 and the GTX 10 is over around the $650 to $750 price tag. Hence two GTX 1060s coming in $500 would cost NVIDIA a ton and thus they removed SLI. Well now the team really needs to somehow cover this up, so they gave their second statement, which is also the second reason we said about earlier, which is, you can buy a higher end Pascal card if you want ever so more performance than the GTX 1060. Well the two GTX 1070s will cost well over $750 to $800, which will ultimately save Nvidia's to lose the GTX 1080 to the GTX 1060s. And today you only have the option to buy one of the GTX 1060 and say pocket it to upgrading or buy an RX 480 and later upgrade your sweet rig. All this said if you are under a budget of $250 to buy a graphic card. Well here in India we can't even do that since both of these cost about $400. But that's about it for the video, hope you understood what I said and as always, thanks for watching.